Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one of my videos. Now, in today's video, we're going over the three best town online war attack strategies that you need to know in 2021. Now, that sounds like fun to you guys. Well, let's get into it. So, I'm here in the Dangerous Toys, part of the PHI clan family. Very nice people, very strong attackers, as you guys are able to see. If you guys want to apply to a very strong competitive clan, well, I will leave the link to this clan in the description box down below. Make sure to apply to them, check them out if you are interested in the well getting better at clash clans being with a really strong clan now anyways guys let's hop into some replays so guys the first attack strategy i want to show you is the goho the goho is a very very like very strong attack strategy too you want to take care of the clan cast so as you can see we uh put a couple troops to lure the clan castle and then we're starting off our golem another golem in the clan castle and some wizards in behind what that's gonna do is it's gonna funnel and create some really nice passing for our hog riders we're going to use our baby dragon not only just to funnel but also to take care of the clan castle and all that good stuff as well as our wizards two uh we're using two golems guys and that's going to get some very solid value that's going to get our golems to get inside of the base and get some more value we want to get the queen we want to get the queen and the king those are two very very important objectives that we want to get when we're doing the stack strategy so remember you want to get the king queen and clan castle as well as create some really nice pathing when doing this attack strategy and you're gonna get do all of that with your golems and your funneling troops or whatever that happens to be you can also do this with one golem and a couple bowlers and as you can see guys the queen's ability gets activated right now as well as the kings we killed all that stuff down and now we can deploy in our hog riders because some nice pathing was also established because there you see this nice long line for our hog riders to go through yeah yeah i'm sure you see it because it was beautifully created by little neo and as you can see guys hog riders are being sent in right now keeping in a couple using heal spells whenever you encounter a big bomb or well whenever you're entering like a high dps area you want to make sure with your heal spell that you're covering a large portion of the base a rare spell goes down onto those hog riders really wasn't needed and another heal spell this base was absolutely wrecked we have a couple wizards to help around the base with cleanup Guys, a very, very strong attack strategy. If you know how to do this attack strategy correctly, you are set. Very, very strong attack strategy that I truly believe you need to know to triple the bases. This has been a very strong attack strategy for many years now. Uh, I still remember using this attack strategy like five, six, seven years ago and tripling bases with this attack strategy at like Town Hall 8 and 9. A very, very strong attack strategy. Beautiful attack done by little neo here's the army composition if you want to copy it let's get into the next replay so guys it's going to be another attack done by little neo after this we're going to hop into the next attacks i'm not gonna i'm gonna surprise it for you guys i want to show two attacks of well two of each attack strategy just so you guys get a better idea of it let's look at how little neo hits this base right here guys little neo you can tell he's a very strong attacker here guys he's absolutely wrecking these bases so here he goes with the zaps this is a variation so let's hop into this and let's see what he's zapped out so look guys here is the queen so hog riders they're obviously susceptible to slash damage so here's a wizard tower here's a bomb tower and here's the archer queen as we all know the archer queen is one of the things we're trying to get so he waited for the archer queen to get into the center of all that nope he's gonna wait a little bit He's going to wait for the Archer Queen to make the full circle, get into perfect position, and 5 lightning spells is enough to take down a max queen. Well, not max, a level 30 queen. Uh, 5 level 6 lightning spells. So waiting for the queen to get right inside of the zone, and then all 5 lightning spells to take down this portion right here. Now, not only is that going to kill the queen, but it's also going to create some nice pathing and get some nice value. Because, you know, a wizard tower and a bomb tower, both pretty strong things when uh, when using hog riders now we still do have the clan castle and the barbarian king let's watch how we take that down so once again guys we have a baby dragon and a golem right here guys in this cc once again it's another golem a couple of wizards behind just like so and our wall breakers could be sent in here soon i'm assuming so this golem right here lured out this clan castle poison goes down onto that a wall breaker test wall breaker gets sent into right here did his job nice and successfully and the other wall breakers are getting sent in right now guys king and queen i'm assuming very very soon yep king and queen gets sent in right here guys make sure that they actually do end up funneling into the base and perfect compartment compartment because you can take out the clan castle and you can take out the king from sending in that's who here just like so guys and the attacker can pretty much send in 
his hog riders very soon, as soon as this king goes down, pretty much. And the hog riders are already being sent in because he knows that king is about to go down any second now, guys. So the hog riders are being sent in just like so, guys. And uh, and just like so, guys, that's gonna be another very nice three star. The hog riders, they're doing their job. They're hog riders, such a fun troop to use, such a powerful attack strategy, especially at down all nine. And they're still strong, you know, at down all ten and beyond. Uh, I see Hogwarts is being used a lot at Donald 14 actually, so the Master Hogwarts is just going to be a very beneficial thing. And just like so guys, the Hogwarts took down the rest of the base. Didn't even need the Queen ability, but our, I'm assuming the little Neo is going to use it for cleanup. Look how many Hogwarts we still have remaining guys. Absolutely insane how strong this attack strategy is guys. Uh, let's wait for this base to get completely tripled. And... Not really, like, no comment. It's just a very, very strong in general attack strategy that I, I just really believe that you guys need to know. If you're looking for a very safe, strong, you know, not incredibly high skill, but, you know, you can master this and get really high skill with this attack strategy, this is the perfect attack strategy for you. So, guys, the next attack strategy I want to show you guys is the Queen Charge Lalo or the Queen Charge Lavaloon. This is my favorite attack strategy because... Quite simply, you can use it at any Town Hall level 9+. plus. It is incredibly strong at Town Hall 9, incredibly strong at Town Hall 10, incredibly strong at Town Hall 11, incredibly strong at Town Hall 12, and beyond, incredibly strong at Town Hall 14. You watch those pro matches, you see those Town Hall 14 pros using this uh, Queen Charge Lalo. Exact same attack strategy right here, guys. Absolutely beautifully. Now, this attack strategy, you're sending in the Queen, and she has two roles typically. She, won't, she needs to take down the Clan Castle, take down the Queen, and uh, create some nice pathing for the Lalo. So how is the attacker going to do this? By the way, the attacker noticed a little something. We'll, we'll get to that later. So let's see where the attacker starts off with this queen charge. He starts off with a couple archers right around here. And he starts his queen right here, guys. A wizard right here to help funnel her queen into wherever she wants to go. A cocoon for that babe dragon. And once again, guys, just to help with the funnel. And it has a couple wall breakers. Because once again, guys, this isn't a queen walk. It's a queen charge. You want your queen to go deep inside of the base. A quad quake goes down onto there to open up that whole compartment. A lot of value from that quad quake. And not really much to say. These archers getting nice work. When Whenever you see that you can use a couple of archers to snipe off some defenses, it's really a why not kind of thing. Look look again guys we can see the queen is getting a lot of very solid value she's getting she just took down this air defense she'll probably take down this one as well she's going inside of the base we still have her wizard here and guys this isn't necessarily the easiest attack strategy but once you master once you get good at it it's just it's just so strong it's it's just absolutely insane how strong and useful knowing this attack strategy is guys if there's one attack strategy that I want you guys to learn from this video, it would be the Queen Charge Lalo because I think it's the most important to know in Clash of Clans as a whole. The most important attack strategy. You know, all those farming attack strategies, very, they're very easy. You know, it's just sneak out and just put a couple of them around and get a whole lot of loot. This attack strategy, guys, I just love it. Now, look at what the attacker did right here, guys. He cleared out all of these trash buildings on the outside, used a couple soup, used a couple. Uh, what's it called? Uh, wall breakers to break this wall, and he sends in his king and is able to use the ability to take care of the queen. It waits for her to go around the cycle. Guys, these attackers are very skilled, and if you want to play with them, you know, apply. Link in the description box down below. Uses the king ability to take care of that queen. Absolutely beautiful how he did that. Had a skeleton spell just in case it didn't work out. Absolutely beautiful how he did that. I absolutely love that. And that's that that's what makes a beautiful attacker knowing how to navigate around these things knowing how to customize your army knowing how how, how to do this stuff bazinga you're you're an amazing attacker absolutely amazing attacker using a balloon to try and snipe off this mortar and didn't end up working anyways the lalo is getting sent in right now guys and in the clan castle, I didn't see what's in the clan castle, unfortunately. Oh, there was uh, there was another max level lava hound in the clan castle. A rage goes on to all of that. The queen goes down, which isn't optimal, but, you know, stuff happens. Should be deploying your minions quite soon. The lalo is getting sent in nice and smoothly, guys. Practice your lalo, guys. So, so important. I can't stress this enough. Knowing how to lalo is an art. It is a skill. You know, you might have that... Uh, that Chinese sensei dude who's very good with a sword. But once he hears that you can Queen Church Lalo very well, he's gonna respect you. 
because it's a whole art on its own. And guys, let's go times four. Let's watch the rest of this basically get cleared out. Very beautiful attack by Bazinga. I absolutely love what he did with the king there. This is the army composition. You don't have to use a quad quake every single time. You can also just use like a general spell, depending on the base layout, obviously how much value you can get one versus the other. Let's hop into another replay. Guys, Bazinga going in with another queen charge Lalo. A very versatile attack strategy as well. And look at this. The queen is right here and the clan castle is right here. Let's look at what he does. He uses the king right away this time to help funnel the queen inside of the base along with a wizard right behind to help speed him up. Coco Loon, for those healers, has seven wall breakers. He's looking to go deep with those wall breakers, guys. I'm very excited to watch Bazinga's attack because the last attack was so, so beautiful. I'm very excited to see what he does this time. He uses a baby dragon right here, very far left. Super wall breaker is going to be sent in soon, I'm assuming. When are they going to be sent in? No, they didn't get sent in yet. He's going to be walking the queen down a little bit. The king, I think he wanted the king to take care of the queen, but he didn't end up getting it. So let's see what he does. He sends in a test wall breaker and then his other wall breakers. The queen is able to take down the enemy queen. So everything's just fine there. Didn't have to worry about that. The queen ended up doing her job, taking care of this queen, one of the priorities. And now the queen can go keep going far enough he wants her to go right around this area right here so that the clan castle can be lured as well guys it's it's simple create some nice pathing take down the queen take down the cc and three star that base nice guys so the queen's ability did end up getting used but that is absolutely fine a couple balloons right here just to clear this annoying stuff but it, it didn't end up going through anyways guys look at that very thin line for the lava hounds and balloons we have created look at the very thin line we have created for the lalo and so our lalo is getting sent in right now guys another max level lava hound in the cc it's not max level because you know the new update and all that but you know uh haste spell goes down right here guys quick little haste lesson because this is important i see a lot of people messing this up you don't want to haste right away just to get your balloons into the base faster you want to haste over a big group of defenses and you want to put it far behind so that you can get more value with the haste balls, you want to get as much value as you possibly can, just like you can see this Lalo expert doing right now, guys. Very, very skilled attacker. Really not much to say. He still has another rage and a free spell, guys. He's deploying down his minions right away for cleanup. There is a Tesla farm down near 9 o'clock. He still does have rage, but he's saving their rage, I'm assuming, for the Tesla farm. He has a whole lot of lava puffs, and he still has two balloons, a wizard, three minions. And uh, yeah, this base is looking really really crushed so a couple of balloons there to test for mines i'm assuming for traps he still has his rage he's deploying look look look, look. some of you guys you might have you know deployed your haste right here guys no the haste is covering the defenses i love this attacker just like so guys he's doing everything perfectly and just like so guys the balloons take it down that tesla farm let's go to times four and watch the rest of the base get cleaned up and let's get into the next attack strategy guys the next attack strategy is the witch slap witch slap very strong attack strategy look at this not really much to say it's just a very versatile attack strategy it's very strong in town hall 9 but higher town hall levels you can still do witch spam but it gets changed up a little bit you're gonna be able to triple pretty much any base with this attack strategy that's me being completely honest with you guys but if you were to learn and master one attack strategy guys just like i said before it would still be the queen charge lalo so if you can queen charge or you can take down any base like this guys as a matter of fact this was the most popular attack strategy i saw it's very simple to use you know you just use three golems spread them nice and wide um what's gonna be in the clan castle bowlers um i'm assuming yeah bowlers you want to jump all through that base uh, get those bowlers nice into the base so that they get some solid value guys look at the rage belt it's nice and in front of all the troops so that it can get as much value as possible and yeah not really much to say another jump belt goes down into the core right there guys to really allow everything to go down into the core you want some nice flanks we have a nice flank going on right here guys wizard towers are fairly scary on the outside so these guys they're a bit scary but i'll show you guys another replay after this attack because this does end up being a three starts a very overpowered attack strategy it's kind of broken at down hall nine if that's me being completely honest and just guys we still have our king and queen ability not yet used we still have a very strong flank going down near the bottom uh this is it's, it's not really too much to say 
Uh, it's just the rest. The witch is just slowly going through this base, just slowly wrecking this base. If you see a base and you're just like, oh, I'm very tired and I don't want to think. I just want to triple this base. This is the attack strategy you would use. It's just a broken attack strategy that you can use at Town Hall 9 to devour bases. At Town Hall 10, however, if you're looking to upgrade to Town Hall 10 soon, for many bases, you won't be able to do the attack strategy. There will be slight modification. I'll probably make a video on the Town Hall 10 version of this. Uh, but with multis, you can't do it exactly like this. There's a bit of changes, in, you know, because there's siege machine and all that there's infernos and all that stuff and just like so guys this base did end up getting tripled i want to get to another replay guys with you look at the army composition let's get to another replay so guys uh dier macaire i don't know if i pronounced that name right going in with two golems this time so one golem right here at 12 o'clock and his other golem right there at three o'clock a couple of witches behind each to establish a really nice funnel that's kind of important you want to put golem here golem here because then those golems they're going to destroy the things on the sides and therefore force things down the middle and that's what you want to do you want to force your main you know your bowlers your king your queen a couple of witches and all that stuff down the middle three baby dragons come out of the clan castle that is not something you see every single day well i don't actually have i don't have a town hall nine permanent account i just have like i do have a town hall nine but it's like a new town hall Anyways, guys, here goes a jump spell to break into this base. A rage spell is going to be used against this, I'm assuming. It's pretty high value area. There you go, guys. A rage. Once again, guys, look at how it is actually in front of all this stuff. It's what you want to do, quite simply. Uh, the only scary thing about this side is this mortar. But, guys, this flank, almost the entire thing, it's a whole bunch of point defenses. So, you know, this flank right here on the outside is going to stay alive for a long, long time. Just like so, guys, we still have our Queen's ability. The King's ability already did end up getting used. We don't have any more spells. We're ending off on the Town Hall, it seems. And don't be scared to do that, because if you're using this attack strategy, you're going to triple every time. Uh, the Queen's ability is going to be used very, very soon to take care of that enemy Queen. There you go, guys. And this base, look how many uh, Witches are still left. Look how many Bowlers are still left. We still have our King. We still have our Queen, guys incredible attack strategy incredibly op attack strategy incredibly op attack strategy that you need to know at town hall 9 in 2021 to three star really any base we still have two golems left guys 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 this base is absolutely wrecked absolutely wrecked this base is it's, it's really not much else to say this base is completely destroyed look at that I'm going to have a lot of Town Hall 9 videos coming out, or not a lot, but I'll have a couple of videos coming out on these attacks, so a bit different ones, but like same attack strategy if you want to see them more in depth. Also guys, I join my Discord if you want to you know, join future tournaments, play esports, that kind of thing. Anyways guys, that is the end of the video. I truly do hope you enjoyed, and if you did enjoy this, vid this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, because I upload Clash Lines Con every single day at 2pm, and comment what you want to see next. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.